Hello everyone. The task here is troubleshooting IPv4 access lists. Here we got an addressing table. This network is meant to have the following three policies. Hosts from the 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network are unable to access any TCP service of server 3. Hosts from the 10.0.0.0 slash 8 network are unable to access the HTTP service of server 1. Hosts from the 172.16.0.0 slash 16 network are unable to access the FTP service of server 2. No other restrictions should be in place. Unfortunately, the rules that have been implemented are not working correctly. Your task is to find and fix the errors related to the access lists on R1. Part 1. Troubleshoot ACL Issue 1. Step 1. Determine the ACL problem. L2 is unable to access any TCP service of Server 1 and Server 3. L2 cannot ping server 1 and server 3. L2 cannot ping G0 slash 2 of R1. As you can see, access list 192-10 does not permit other IP traffic. Step 2. Implement a solution. To solve this problem, we add one statement permit IP any any to the access list 192-10. Step 3. Verify that the problem is resolved and document the solution. Now, this policy is satisfied. Part 2. Troubleshoot ACL Issue 2. Step 1. Determine the ACL problem.
L3 is able to access FTP and HTTP service of Server 1 and Server 2. L3 can ping Server 1 and Server 2. As you can see, access list 10 to 172 is applied to the right interface, but with the wrong direction. Step 2. Implement a solution. To fix it, we must remove the configuration for the outbound direction first, then, configure the access list with the inbound direction. Step 3. Verify the problem is resolved and document the solution. Now, this policy is satisfied. Part 3. Troubleshoot ACL Issue 3. Step 1. Determine the ACL problem. L1 can access FTP and HTTP service of Server 2 and Server 3. L1 can ping Server 2 and Server 3. As you can see, the statement permit IP any any was configured first, so the policy was not applied in this case. Step 2. Implement a solution. We must remove the first statement, then add it after the deny statement. Step 3. Verify the problem is resolved and document the solution.
Now, this policy is satisfied. That's all. Thank you for watching.